G'day legends. Today I'm gonna to run you through a very, it's a pretty basic recipe, uh, but it's gonna blow your taste buds. It's gonna blow your partner's mind, whoever you're cooking for. Try not to cook for too many people though, because then you need more pots, more pans, and it just becomes a pain in the ass. You won't enjoy it, uh, and it might not be as good as it can be. So it's obviously not your simple just bacon and eggs on toast, which is bloody awesome, but it is, not too far from it in terms of how simple it is. Once you do it once, it'll just be um, back of your mind, super easy to do. Quick run through the recipe. About a th for one or two people, about a 300, 400 gram uh, bag of rocket. Uh, I'd normally do two eggs per person, so two eggs, because I'm just cooking for myself. Greek yogurt, spiced paprika, or smoked paprika, salt and pepper to season. Lurpak because it's the bloody best Bit of olive oil and last two ingredients bit of bread uh, You don't have to have bread, but it's good to put it on some bread and a little bit of garlic um, Now I'm missing one ingredient and It's it's the uh, it's the namesake ingredient of the bloody recipe and it's just about five or six leaves of sage so I'll tell you when to put the sage in because I won't be putting it in. All right, so what we've got here is I've put my rocket already in the camp oven. Camp oven's great, obviously I'm cooking on open fire, so keep in mind you can cook on gas, whatever you want. Got it in here with a little bit of oil. Now we're gonna put that on top of the fire and heat that up a little bit, kind of sweat the rocket. Now keep in mind, uh, whatever pot you do use, Basically, what we're gonna do is make a couple little holes in the rocket for the egg when, when we're ready to do the egg. So, in saying that, I'm gonna chuck this rocket on the fire now, um, sweat it, and then we'll uh, put the eggs in when we're ready. All right, chuck that on, keep that handle up. Give that probably two or three minutes, depending on how hot you've got the fire. Um, but you want to make sure you put the eggs in here before they sweat too much, otherwise you're just gonna, by the time the eggs cook, you're gonna end up with just crispy, flavorless rockets. So we still want them to, uh, to be able to sweat that a little bit more if we had to. We don't want them dry as a bone. Next step, I'll cut this bit of bread up. just a Turkish Turkish bread roll basically um, but pretty big so I'll only need one side of it we'll keep that side so ready for a fry pan just to toast it however you want to toast it I like to butter it up have it ready to go in a fry pan whenever I'm ready all right that's good to go In here, this is where big chunk of butter. All right. This is where I'd normally you put this on the fire, and I'll still tell you when when we're cooking it. But uh, heat up the butter, and then you break up just five or six sage leaves, chuck it in there with the smoked paprika. As soon as it starts to bubble. Uh, it's ready to go and you want to serve it almost immediately. Um, garlic. It should be enough, it's just me. Here's my yogurt. Yogurt and garlic. Go quickly stir. Yeah, it's getting there. We're almost ready. It's it's reducing, sweating a bit, but there's still signs of you know slightly uncooked rocket. Do, make a little room for the bread. 
Now I'm going to make two little holes in here. For my eggs. Here we go. Now doesn't that shit already look gourmet? Doesn't take much. Put that that way. Some of that heat on that bread. A bit of pepper. Salt. Here we go, I've got the bread nice and toasted, ready to go. Put that to the side. Got the sage, uh, sorry, not the sage, got the paprika. Just put it in with the butter and it's just started to bubble up a little bit. That's normally when I'd rip up the sage, about five or six leaves, break them up just with your hands, put them in there, stir it up, and that's pretty much ready to go straight away. These eggs are good, rocket's looking good. Grab all this, head back over. Alrighty, let's do this. Put the bread on here first. The spatula. The scoop it up. Side. Next we've got your Greek style yogurt and garlic. Put as much as that much as you want on there, really. I'm not a huge yogurt fan, so I'll uh, I'll put on less. And lastly you got your smoked paprika butter. Let's get that out of the way. Nice little bit of smoked paprika butter. And we are good to go, legends. there you go guys my campfire camping rendition of the famous Otolenghi's recipe I don't recall what he called it but look you've got your you've got your Turkish bread cooked on the open fire you've got your rocket with the eggs in the holes um, still a little bit runny which would be perfect as soon as you cut it open they'll just spill through you've got your garlic in your Greek style yogurt mix that up and I've got the butter and paprika warmed up over the fire as well. Only thing missing, like I said, is the sage. So it's probably the most important part, but we can do without because we're camping. So Otolenghi, thank you for the uh, the inspiration. And um, look, I'm going to get stuck into this. But look, you pull this out any day of the week with your mates or your, your partner camping and you're going to blow their mind. So enjoy.